Okay, I'm going to show you how to install BlueJ under Windows 7. Um, we're going to have to go to this website, BlueJ.org, in a minute. But actually, you can't install BlueJ unless you have administrative rights on your machine. So to figure out if you do, go to the Start menu and then click on Control Panel, User Accounts and Family Safety, and then click on User Accounts. And on the right hand side you'll see your user ID. Mine happens to be student right now. And under that hopefully it says administrator. If it says administrator you're in good shape. You can install this stuff. If it doesn't then you need to find somebody else, maybe a university or somebody else um, who has uh, administrative rights on their machine. So let's close that. I'll assume you have administrative rights and let's open up a browser. I'm going to use Explorer since I'm sure you have that and go to bluejay.org. So click on download. Now there are two parts to this. The first is we have to get Java and the second is we have to download the installation package. But so to start out with we're going to go to the right hand side here and click on JDK download. And we want to get Java 7 so click on that download Java JDK. We want to make sure we get the JDK and we'll scroll down a bit. Now when you look at this you can see there's two versions for Windows. There's the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. And you need to figure out which one you need. So if you go back to the Start menu and click on Control Panel um, and then click on System and Security up here on the left and now click on System or view amount of RAM and processor speed under system. Um, if you look down in the middle there under system it'll tell you what your machine is and here it says that I have a 32-bit operating system so I'll remember that. You have to remember what you have and go back. I don't have the 64 so I'm going to download the x86 um, so let me click on that Oops. All right, we got to accept the license agreement. Let's scroll up. Oops, yeah, see it said I have to accept the license agreement before downloading. So we'll scroll up and accept the license agreement. Scroll back down and we will click on that x86. That's the 32-bit. And I like to save things before I run them. I'm going to save it in a uh, temporary directory I have on C. You can save it wherever, it doesn't really matter. It's going to download. And um, I paused for a minute. Here we go. We've almost got it. Make sure that close this dialog box when download completes is not checked. You need that so that this stays open so that we can now click on run. So when we click on run Here we go, we get the preparing to install. Took a minute there. All right. So we're going to just accept all the defaults it gives us. We just clicked on next and next. And then we got to wait some more. All right, here we go. Okay, where do we want to install to? Just accept the default and say next. Got a little bit of an ad. We're going to pause for a minute. Here we go, okay. So it said is it successfully installed? I'll say finish. We're not going to look at registration information right now. Okay, so we did that. Now you got to go back. We're going back to that BlueJay download page. And now we're going to download the version of BlueJay that we want. We already got Java. So now what we want to do is, um, is we're going to download BlueJay. We want to download BlueJay for Windows. So let's click on that. Again, I prefer to actually save, so I'm going to save it first. 
I'll save it to that same temp directory. Here it comes. Let me pause for a minute. Eh, it's coming pretty fast. Make sure that closes dialog box is still not checked. And in a minute it'll tell us it's done. I hope. There we go. And now we can click on run. And yeah, we really do want to run it. Alright, strongly recommended we close everything, so let's do that. Goodbye. Alright, so now we have the BlueJ installer. We'll say next. Again, we're just going to take all the defaults it gives us. And it installs pretty quickly. Alright, I don't really want to see the README file right now, but I do want to start BlueJ. Let's start BlueJ and take a look. When we load it, it asks us, do you want to use this JDK that you installed? Well, yeah, we do. So click on that and then say launch. And here we go. Let me shrink this a little bit. Okay. And there you go. You've installed BlueJ. Good job.